How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Futsal Horizon 4 once again. Every month, as you know, we get teased and we get given a few clues as to what's going to be in each update a week prior to it releasing. And you know me, if there's enough to do a video about, I like to do a video talking about the clues and all the information we know about the next update before we get to know the official details. Now we already know that next week we're getting a brand new update 12 I think it is for Forza Horizon 4 and today or yesterday we were given Torben Tuesday clues as to what's going to be in that update and I believe we have some confirmed cars I think I'm going to say we do and maybe a feature or two which we're going to talk about in today's video. So just a quick bit of information as you know every month Torben Tuesday or Torben which is a designer playground games or a coder he works for playground games playground games posts an image of him and his co-workers at work on the new update every month and it's always within these images that we get given clues towards the next update a week after you can see on screen what the clue images are usually like you know they're very they're very cluey if you know what i mean you can tell that there's clues in them well yesterday playground games tweeted uh, let me get the tweet up right now. Who is excited for today's Torben Tuesday? So obviously getting everybody ready for the photo that includes all the clues. And then six hours later, they posted this. This image right here is very different to our usual clue filled photo. It says, anyone know where Torben is? We need him for today's Torben Tuesday. And as you can see in the image, it's very basic. We've got his computer, some Lego and a sticky note that says gone fishing. Now. Let me just veer away from the clue photo and talk about something else which has also been confirmed for the game. As you know, a few weeks ago I did a video talking about the barn find in Forza Horizon 4 LEGO expansion. What I thought it would be, what it should be, and you know, just basically what I thought could be the LEGO car. I just said that, didn't I? I came to an educated guess and conclusion I believed the barn find LEGO car that is yet to be released is the Porsche 911 Turbo from 1974. And now it's confirmed. This image was recently leaked online. As you can see, it's the Porsche 911 Turbo 1974. And in the bottom right hand corner, it says drive in Forza Horizon 4. And it also says, you know, you need the Lego expansion as well below it. And something else that adds up is this is obviously an unreleased set. And it is set to release on August the 1st, which is actually the exact day or the day after this new update is going to come out so from this image and also if we go back to the other image there is some white lego on his desk and you know the car is white to me this confirms that we are getting a new lego car this week or next week i sure sorry august 1st around then and it's going to be the porsche 911 turbo 3 liter from 1974. not only does the box confirm that but also the lego on his desk and the gone fishing thing i think is kind of a a hint towards that he's gone to look for the instructions if that makes sense so yeah now the other interesting thing about this tweet is obviously playground games were asking where torben is and then torben replied saying this is the view from where i am sunny with a high risk of cerveza now that word is actually spanish for beer it's really bad that i don't know how to pronounce that because i'm fluent in portuguese which is very similar to spanish so i should kind of know that but regardless, Torben is basically showing us that he's in Spain, and he does this by hinting at the word for beer in Spanish, which is cerveza. Now this is the image that he gives us, and you have no idea how much time I have spent on this image trying to find out where this is. If you're interested in the amount of investigating that I went through to try and find where this photo was taken, then stay till the end of the video because I'm going to show you everything I did to try and identify this photo and it's pretty funny. But here's the very short version of it. If we look in the bottom left hand corner there's an inflatable water park. I actually looked at all the inflatable water parks in Spain that I could find images of and none of them matched this area. I tried to look for some big rocky mountains as you can see up there and I couldn't find for the life of me what it matched up to but I don't think it actually matters where he is in this photo. I think he was trying to hint that he's in Spain. Now we're all intrigued as to why he posted this photo and he's kind of hinting at us that he's in Spain and to be honest in my opinion I think he's hinting that he's in Spain because we're getting some kind of Spanish car manufacturer returning to the game. Now there aren't many out there car manufacturers that are from Spain, so this can makes it kind of easy to guess. There's the GTA Spano, but we already have that, 
and there's also Sayat. Not really a popular car manufacturer, but it's definitely one of the most popular that comes from Spain, that's for sure. There's other ones like Hurton, Sunred, IFR, Aspid. There's lots of random car manufacturers, but the one that stands out to me is the Sayat car manufacturer. And we know that there's lots of different Sayat cars. They have been in Forza before. There's cars like the Sayat Leon, the Sayat Ibiza, and something that's quite interesting about the Sayat Ibiza, there is actually a Spanish city or Spanish island called Ibiza. Now, I tried to see if this is where this image was taken in Ibiza, because then that would highly add up to the Sayat Ibiza being added. But I'm really confident that this is not Ibiza, but that doesn't confirm it anyway. I still think, in my opinion, that next week we're going to get a Spanish car manufacturer return more than likely say it say it see it. i don't even know if i'm saying that right i think i am we're getting the lego barn find car which has been confirmed returning and there's a couple of other things that i think are confirmed as well i think this week we may be getting a new showcase remix i think they mentioned as well there's a very 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 small chance we might hear something about the truck lots of people have been recommending it and they said that it might happen if we push for it enough so i don't know we may hear about that not getting my hopes up though but i'm still not quite finished with this image i really want to know where this is so please if you're watching this video have a little look around to see if you can find out where this image was taken i've tried to look for those water parks as you can see in that specific color and i can't find any that are actually in spain which match up with this location on google maps so please try and have a look around try and look for whatever city this is and see we'll see if it matches to a car but i think probably doesn't i think we have the information we need to know that this is just spain somewhere in spain and i think that this means we're getting something from spain spanish car manufacturer i'm gonna guess say it coming back this next week along with that lego barn find which has also been confirmed and then some other features such as the showcase remix now i will say that none of this is confirmed apart from the porsche that's confirmed to me but these car manufacturers that are spanish returning i wouldn't say that any of that's confirmed at all this is just my personal guesses from the clues that we've been given now just a little bit of information about the update itself about when it's going to be released and when we're going to hear confirmations about it on the 29th of july which is only about four or five days away we're going to hear the live stream at 6 o'clock UK time from Playground Games themselves and they're going to talk about exactly what's going to be in this update and I'm predicting everything I've said in today's video. And then on the 30th or the 31st of July or the 1st or 2nd of August is when we're going to get the actual update itself. Probably the 1st of August I'm going to say, maybe a couple of days before but around then is when we're going to get this update in particular. So it may only be next week that we get these cars that I'm talking about. Also, Torben, if you're watching this, please, in the live stream, tell us where that photo was taken or it would bug me forever. But anyway, guys, what I'm going to do now is show you very quickly all the stress and details I went into to trying to find where this photo was taken. I didn't succeed, but you'll see the details I went into is ridiculous. Firstly, what I did was have a look in the photo for anything that stood out. Obviously, I chose the water park. I saw that the water park was blue, orange and white. So then what I did, I went to Google and searched for water parks that are inflatable, that are in Spain and that you can attend. And I found quite a lot of images, but none of them were orange, blue and white. I kept looking and I saw one that was called Ocean Mania. It was in Ibiza, which would add up to being a Seat Ibiza being added, possibly, if he was there. But the Ocean Mania logo was too big and the location is where the Ocean Mania was in Ibiza didn't match up to the one in the photo. I couldn't find any more inflatable water parks in Ibiza, so to me, I think that confirms that it's not. So I kept looking and I found a couple more that were the same colour as the ones in the photo, called Aquafun instead of Ocean Mania. Aquafun does match up to the logos you can see in the photo however i couldn't find any aquafun water parks that were in spain that matched the location that torben was at i had a look on google maps i had a look around for the mountains and it just didn't match up at all so either this is a very new water park or there's just no images of it online so then what i proceeded to do i had a look at some spain city skyline to see if i could match this up see if i could recognize it from the photo still didn't find any that matched it and then i googled big spain rocks to see if i could find any photos of these two big rocks that match the ones in the photo i couldn't find many i really struggled he's done well on this one 
So then what I did is I had a look at the top left hand corner of the photo. You can actually see a reflection of the building that Torben stood in. You can see that it kind of looks to me, I don't know why, it looks like a train station. The way it's arched, the way the windows are, it looks like it could be a train station. So then what I did, I googled Spanish train stations by the sea or by the beach or something like that. And I still couldn't find anything that matched it up. I don't know why I went into so much detail. It's kind of unnecessary. I don't think we need to know exactly where he was. I think we just need to know that it was Spain. But yeah, that's the length I went through to try and find where he was. And I still don't know. So there it is, guys. Please do let me know in the comment section below what you think this means. Why you think he's in Spain. Why you think he's hinting at it. If you think it is, say it. What do you think? Let me know. For now guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.